Whenever I'm thinking up 3x3 mods, I'm often thinking about how to meld different designs together, and I'm very focused on the overall construction of the puzzle. But it's rare that I actually think of a puzzle based purely on the aesthetics of how it will look and how that will match other puzzles that kind of look the same. This is the Rex Cube, Cube Octahedron, the Truncated Pyraminx, and whatever this puzzle here is. And as you can see, they all have a pretty cool color scheme that I really like the look of, and I wanted to do it on a 3x3. The modification was effectively no different to a half truncated cube, just with a couple extra cuts, but I was more focused on how it was going to look when it was done, as opposed to the actual modification itself. I tightened everything up, and then I went over to my bandsaw and I tilted the table to 35 degrees. Not the 45 that I'm used to. 35 is what you need in order to make the half truncated cube, and so I took the puzzle over to my bandsaw and I started cutting those corners off. After I'd finished making those cuts, I could stop here if I wanted to and fill these pieces up and I'd have a pretty decent looking half truncated cube, but I went back over and I cut the remaining corners off. After I was finished cutting everything, this is what the puzzle looked like, and it was actually pretty cool. I liked the look of it, and one of the great things about this modification is that I don't actually have to disassemble anything in order to fill the pieces. I stuffed everything full of epoxy sculpt, and after that was done, this is what it looked like. I also really like how even the cuts are on this puzzle, and it almost makes it a shame to sand everything down. That is something that only I could ever have a problem with. I need to get out more. After the epoxy sculpt had hardened, I took the puzzle over to my belt sander, and I started sanding all the faces down. After I had finished sanding everything, I was really happy with how the puzzle was looking, so I took it over to my desk and I started peeling all of the stickers off. I disassembled everything, and then I got a sanding block, some scotch bright, and a nail file out, and I started rounding over all the sharp edges. After I'd finished rounding over all of the pieces, I reassembled everything and I started looking over it to make sure that all of the pieces were the right size and everything was looking pretty good. I cut all of the stickers out and I stickered everything up in the same color scheme as all of the puzzles I was talking about at the beginning of this video and I think it looks fantastic. Every now and then I come across a color scheme that just really works for me and I think there's something to be said about the way certain complementary colors work with certain angles and geometry and it's something that I'm definitely going to have to look into eventually but for now I just really like how everything looks. As for the actual functionality of the puzzle itself, this is a shapeshifter so as I start scrambling things here you can see pieces sticking out and I'm sure if I was to scramble this up it would look amazing, if it doesn't look amazing already. Normally I would solve this seeing as how it's just a 3x3 modification, but because this is 30 days 30 builds, I've got to get this video out, so I hope you guys like this video, I hope you guys like this puzzle, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.